Hey YouTube and in today's video we're going to learn how to use and make a shadow system like a pro in Figma. I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK. So to create a shadow system it can be quite simple and why reinvent the wheel? Tailwind CSS has a great shadow system so for example on the community file you can find this again and you'll get access to all of these if you duplicate the file but if you want to put the styles into your own file one way to do this is you have to go to assets and then this icon here and make sure that you publish these styles and components styles is normally free uh, in the free plan and if I close that if you go back to your file and again you go to you go to assets here you get on this icon and you find official Tailwind CSS styles, you toggle that and now you'll have access to all the shadow styles. So for example, if I was to create a frame and let's say I click and then I say 300 by 300, I'm going to then duplicate this another two, three, four, five, six and then I'm going to apply some shadows. So I can go to effects and here you've got access, so I'm going to go small. What I'm going to do is actually put this into an auto layout. So let me just select all and then shift A. Hit enter. And what I'm going to do is run a plugin. So command forward slash. And what you need to do is find a plugin called Styler. I'm going to detach the styles. So once you've done that, it's removed the styles and you can see you have the pure drop shadows. And you can actually check these out and see how they designed it. And you can actually tweak these if you want. And what we're going to do is, again, go to the frame, hit enter. We're going to start renaming these. So command R. I'm going to rename these to shadow forward slash. And I'm going to say number. But you can see the preview here. I want to get rid of that and put a zero, zero then rename. So here we're starting from the smallest shadow to the highest shadow. And then again you select the whole frame, hit enter, command forward slash, you generate styles. So now it's created 12. You can see here we've created all the shadow styles but it's also created color styles. So I'm just going to delete that. So now you have your very own simple shadow system. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. If you want to actually generate your own shadows, there is a plugin called Shadow Maker. So again, command forward slash. If you get Shadow Maker, the nice thing about this is if I hit apply, let me just zoom out. I'm just going to make this 300 by 300 so we can compare. This has added multiple shadows. So the only thing to be cautious of is performance. So Facebook and Airbnb, when you scroll uh, and you have an item with uh, drop shadow or box shadow, sorry, then it can cause performance issues. So this one, for example, we can just see how they, how they decided this. So it starts from there. So you can see it's very subtle. So I'm going to then duplicate this, let's say, three, four, five, six times. And then can I shift A? Okay, and then horizontal. For some reason it does it that way. So I'm gonna hide. And then I'm gonna put a spacing of 40. And I'm just gonna duplicate one more. We can start to tweak these. So you could actually, if you wanted, you could actually be like this, really, really subtle. And here we're just adding and adding more back. And again, you can tweak these to your liking. But I thought this is a nice way of generating your own shadows. And again, if you just hit enter, command R, shadow, forward slash, and then number. Okay, now you can actually say uh, shadow maker for example, because you want to differentiate the shadow naming, rename, and again, you can generate the styles. So if you do that very quickly, command forward slash, generate styles. 
you can see here we got one for shadow and one for shadow maker which i think is pretty cool why use shadows and i'm going to test this on an example that i've made so here is a very typical example of a form where the user is presented with three options and here hopefully is pretty obvious what you need to do uh, what is your occupation you need to select one of these there will be options or ready options now this is a very simple design it's, we're not going too crazy into the into the design but one way to make this a bit more obvious because at the moment it's pretty flat is to add some shadows so if we actually test this out let's use the effects and let's use the maker let's say around let's say 200 so now you can see it's very very subtle but now it's starting to stand out and that hopefully is going to be a bit more obvious to the user and again it depends on the target audience so again you're adding depth to your design so again here I'm actually going to use the tailwind and I'm going to say okay 200 so you can see it's very subtle but it's starting to stand out compared to these two so again I'm just going to go to these and I'm going to just repeat it again effects shadow 2 so again it is a very subtle thing but I think it can really help your design or your forms it can add that extra polish to your design but just remember if you have a very long form and the user is going to be scrolling then it can cause performance issues how to export and import styles so there isn't really an official way of doing this so there is a plugin called design system organizer so again you can find this in the community they do have a free trial of 15 days there is a license for a freelancer you can check it out but just to demonstrate it so again what i'm going to do i'm just gonna delete the color styles and well let's have a look let's see how it works so i'm going to go to official tailwind again and what I'm going to do is, I already have the plugin here, so again, you can go command forward slash and you could say design system organizer, click. And there's a trial, so hit continue. And what you want to do is find the effect, so click on that. I say, okay, I actually want, now you might not have read it, but you can only import up to five styles in the trial version. So let's say I want to get. those five and what you have to then do is then do let me just remember so export so here five effect styles were exported to the clipboard i've only got two trial exports left and then you go back to shadows so again you need to make sure the plugin is here and click continue and here you see an import so if i click import you can see this has imported the five effect styles from Tailwind. And I think that is going to save you a lot of time if you have a very large design system. So hopefully you found this video useful. And what we've been doing previously is we've done textiles, we've done color styles, we've done a shadow system, we've done an icon system. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to put it into one big design system. So everything you've been learning we're going to put this all together in one system because the ultimate goal is to then start making landing pages app design you're going to see the whole benefit of creating a design system